Welcome to BAFTA's Countdown to Awards Night, your weekly peek behind the scenes of one of the starriest nights in film. Join us each week as we bring you all the glitz, gossip and glamour in the build-up to this year's EE British Academy Film Awards. This week we took a trip to meet with Amanda, who's been BAFTA's after-party stylist for the past 14 years. So, Amanda, tell us what you do. We always work with the top five films and, it, you know, the drama and the different things that happen within those Cut. five films. Do you want to start again? <laughs> we then theme each... Oh, that's the Waterloo train, I'll get that. <laughs> OK, let's forget the intro. Uh, on to the table centres. This decoration here is for 12 Years a Slave. We wanted to create a big sculpture, taking in the cotton plants and also the violin as a central theme. Over here we have American Hustle. Really love the 70s styling in this film. We've sort of incorporated the textile patterns that were happening at the time and then of course the money. As well as depicting the film and being a really interesting centerpiece, it has to work in terms of being a dining experience. Over here we have Philomena. We've created a mini sort of altar in the centre of which we have the pages of the book cut out to show um, the lost child going through the pages. Captain Phillips, we've taken the whole stacked containers on top of which um, we have the cargo ship. Gravity. <laughs> the whole film, the tension between the two uh, spacemen, we really wanted to bring that to life. It's going to be fully carved. This is just a maquette to show what it's like at the moment. People see them and fall in love with them, but they don't also realise that they're nine feet tall. They're not going to fit in your normal home. And yes, we, we did have uh, an occasion last year where someone really fell in love with Les Mis and wanted to take it home. And uh, the practicalities of it meant that it didn't really work. And after much coercion, we persuaded the busy BAFTA staff to let us turn the camera on them and find out what they're up to on awards night. Hi, I'm Lulu Murphy. I uh, oversee all the passes for the BAFTAs. And there are this many kinds of passes. Well, we're going to be there the day before on the Saturday, and then we're going to be there about 10am on the Sunday to set, to set up, probably finish about... Half 11 at night. Well, in terms of the ceremony itself, we're making sure that we've got all our citation readers in place. We've got our musical performance, getting the script, all those last minute things. So my name's Phil Ecott. I work in the partnerships team here at BAFTA. On the night, I'll be uh, looking after some of the partners and making sure they get the photography that they need of people on the red carpet. So Georgina, in one word. How am I feeling about the awards? Um, excited. Absolutely excited. Sorry, that's two words. Yes, it is. Totally excited. That's also two words. OK, start again. <laughs> Just totally. Any advances on excited? Intrigued. Ugh. Turned on. <laughs> I don't know. That's too much. You better cut this. And we'll leave it to Claire Brown to tell us this week's biggest news. Very excitingly, our president, Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, will be attending this year. So I will make sure that uh, everything is clear for him to arrive on the red carpet at the right time and to make sure that he has his speech ready to hand over the fellowship. And what do you reckon his favourite film this year might be? Captain Phillips, I reckon. Yeah, I think it'll be Captain Phillips. Uh, cool Runnings. No, like this year you know. Oh, right. <laughs> so I'm going to say Philomena, I reckon. Interesting choices. And not long till we might find out. Jenny, how many days? Hi there, my name is Jenny Falconer, and there are only nine days left to go till the film awards. <laughs>